Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Git Crash Course. So as you can see on my screen, in today's video, we are going to talk about Git config. So if you have seen my previous video, we have noticed that we have installed a new Git in a fresh system. So in order to configure things, what we have to do? So that's what we are going to talk about today. So you can see that we are going to talk about the Git username or Git name and the email address that we'll associate in order to do the check-ins. So for that, we are going to use git config hyphen hyphen global command and we'll do the demo. So guys, let's get started. So first of all, go to your start button, type CMD, right click and run as administrator. So there are two ways to do it. First is this and the other way is you can type git bash over here, right click and run as administrator. Once done, it will open and you can do the same thing on both of them and I'll show you one by one what exactly is needed. Okay, so for now what we'll do is we'll do a minor change over here and the other change we'll do in the different window. So first of all you need to know where are you right now exactly so you are in C users and the username. Now here what you have to do is you have to type a command git config hyphen hyphen global and then so this has opened now it was a bit late let me push back push it back we'll just complete a few things over here and then we'll take a look at that as well so global and then we have to type user dot name and your username so my username is logic ops lab if you want to give that you can give that let me expand it a bit you can do that Otherwise, you can type your name as well. For example, your name is like my name is Ravish. You can type that. And it, it is your choice. You can type anything. So I'll just give a name logic ops lab. And that's all. That's all you have to give and hit enter. So once you do it and if it is showing there is nothing else over here, which means no response is a good response. It means it is showing no error over here. So this is great. Now, same thing you guys can do in your shell as well. Let me show you over here. So one thing we have done there already, you can type it over here, git config hyphen hyphen global, the same command and user dot email. So what is your email which are, you are using? Logic ops lab at rate gmail dot com. You can use yours and that's all hit enter again there is no response which is a good response over here and now if I want to see that I have set two things over here which is one is my user email and other is my username I have set two things okay I'm just telling you that you guys can use anything you can use the command prompt you can use the git bash ideal way is to use git bash but you can do through command prompt as well I'll just close this for now and I'll start using this only so once this is done you have to check whether everything is perfect or not. So type git config hyphen hyphen global and then you have to take a list of all these things. So hit enter and let's see what it shows. And it has come username and your user email which is logicopslab.iterategmail.com and then logicopslab. Perfect. Now all this information is saved somewhere and that file name is git config. Now let us take, let us take a look at that file. So you have to type cat tilde slash dot get not get get con fig and hit enter and it will give you the same credentials that you have just set a few minutes back over here. If it is appearing over here in, in this way, perfect. You are doing it all right. Now once this is done, you can see where this file is saved. So let us type pwd over here which is present work directory so you have to go inside c users and ravi shravat i've already opened it over here and you can see there's a folder over here which is known as let me just type it dot get folder over here but you don't have to take a look at that because all you need is this git config file so right click over here edit in notepad plus plus and you can see that we have the same credentials over here 
So which means that what we have set has come over here and if you see this over here in this same format then everything you have done is perfect. So that how it works guys. So in case you have any other issue or if you have not understood please feel free to comment below and we'll address the issue. So thanks guys. If you have anything feel free to comment and I'll see you in the next.